Okay, well, after all that mess, I think we're actually good to go now. Can you hear me? Is everything turned on correctly? We should have sound. I've been fucking around so much with my capture cards and my settings that, um, yeah, I just forgot what I had my cards set to last time. Uh, let's see. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Yeah, I thought I'd just give people a few minutes again to um, rejoin the stream just for anyone who fucked off while I was dealing with that shit. Maybe people thought the stream was over. Just to give people time. So, let's do it again from the top, shall we? So, like I was saying before, we start off with our loading image. There's our first hint that it's Silent Hill. Now we get to choose our settings. We'll we'll uh, we'll go for some English subtitles, I guess. Let me just open up my Streamlabs as well, just to thank everyone. 
Room to Dream coming in with the 18 months. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have to see how the um, audio is balanced as well with my mic. I'm not really sure what the deal is with the, uh, with the volume for this teaser. Uh, Room to Dream, thank you for the 18. Raguchi, thank you for the 21. Amazing Blanket, thank you for gifting the sub to Actually Angel. Brian again with the two. Bad Humans with the 17. KC with the 39. Salami with that big tier three. Cheers again, everyone. Connor. So yeah, if you haven't seen this before, this is uh, a playable teaser for Silent Hills, Kojima's cancelled horror game. Um, I believe this was released in 2014, 2014. I can't remember if this was released before or after Ground Zeroes. Um... But yeah, around that time, he was working on this while working on MGS5. Or, you know, towards the end of 5's development, anyway. Seven Seven Eighty s Studio. So like I was saying before, that's a code for an area in Japan, Shizuka. The area measured in meters squared, and the S at the end with, uh, is for the S after hill, for the plural. So I think the area translates to Silent Hill or Quiet Hill or something like that. So that's what the 7780 stands for, and then the S is, the, uh, is for the plural at the end. There's our cockroach. So yeah, if you look really carefully, you can see that it's Lisa behind the door. There. Crazy little detail. Lisa, who is the, the ghost that we'll be encountering during this teaser. I really like how the movement feels in this. It feels so weighty. And like you feel him wobble back and forth ever so slightly with each step. I actually didn't mean to go through the door there. I was just going to look at the light because there's a really nice buzzing sound you get off the light. A lot of really nice uh, touches in this. Really, really good sound design. shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. One thing I find interesting about the radio cast is how weirdly detailed and graphic it is. Yeah, it's uh, not very realistic. You wouldn't, you probably wouldn't hear that being said so casually in real life by a news person. Uh, but it's, it's quite effective, I think. So, that's kind of what this story is about. This, uh, 
this father who went crazy. I think they kind of suggest that he was um, possessed or something. You know, they talk about another incident where another uh, father did something similar. It's a, like a similar um, domestic uh, murder. And he says, you know, police have no reason to believe the two are connected, but this is a horror game. And especially when you think of Silent Hill and Silent Hill 4 and everything, they probably are connected. Um, a lot of people theorize that uh, this is also referencing the film uh, God Told Me To. There's a scene in that film... Um, where someone says something very similar. I think it's a killer in the movie who's killing people because God is telling him to kill people. And uh, he's being interviewed by a policeman. The, 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 the police take him into the station and he says that he talks about how he killed his daughter and he said he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. And I think it's almost word for word like it is in that film old 70s movie I think so I think that's where that comes from ooh ominous sound in the background there Oh, actually, hold on. Let me just let me just check something here. I have the radio report here written out. We missed the very start of it. It's quite easy to miss the start of it because you have to rush straight over to the radio. You know, it starts playing when you're up at the end of the hall over there. So it's very easy to miss the first few lines. The first line is, as the, con as the congressional debate over gun control flares up yet again, we regret to report the murder of the wife and her two children by their husband and father. Thing is, we don't get any... Um, we don't get the impression that there are other children here, that this couple ha um, had kids. We know that Lisa was pregnant, but they don't have any other kids. So I think maybe the other murder might have been what uh, this is related to. The brutal killing took place while the family was gathered at home on Sunday afternoon. The day of the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. The six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. Yeah. If you, you could probably find that clip quite easily if you googled it, the, the God Told Me To clip very similar to that um, the girl was found shot once in the chest in point blank range the mother who sh uh, the mother who he shot in the stomach was pregnant at the time police arriving on the scene uh, after neighbors called 911 found the father in his car listening to the radio several days before the murders neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice they said it was like he was chanting some strange spell this this stuff really reminds me of Silent Hill 4 the bathroom is very similar to the bathroom in Silent Hill 4 as well, which we'll see later. But, you know, Silent Hill 4 had a, mur had a murder mystery element to it. Detective mystery element. And, um, like a sequence of killings, ghosts. And a lot of that stuff was very different to the previous Silent Hill games. There wasn't really much of that in Silent Hill 1, 2, or 3. Um, they didn't really focus on ghosts at all. But 4 did, and this one obviously is as well. So, very reminiscent of 4. If you had to compare it to any game in the series. Um, let me just see here as well. What did he say at the end? There was another family shot to death in the same state last month. And in December last year, a man used a rifle and a meat cleaver to murder his entire family. I think they suggest later on that that the father might have chopped her head off. And I know in the files, um, I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with Lance McDonald. 
who did a lot of uh, data mining for this game, and he does it for Bloodborne and a load of other games. He found something in the files, which was um, Lisa headless sitting in the bathtub. And later on, we don't get to we don't get to see that ever in the teaser, but we do hear some nasty sound effects when we look into the bathroom at one point, and it sounds like something big getting chopped off. So I think maybe the suggestion is still there. But uh, yeah, maybe the radio broadcast isn't supposed to be talking about this family specifically because they, in the radio broadcast, they do talk about a string of murders, you know. Which are, which the police say are unrelated, but they could very well be related. Another thing as well that's worth bringing up is that this is not representative of the final game. You know, this is a, a teaser for a game that was in the early, early stages of development. So the story here might not have anything to do with what the final game was going to be. You know, this might have been just its own thing. Because we're playing as Norman Reedus right now. We can't see him, but it's Norman Reedus's model. It's not just a floating camera. Again, this is something that um, Lance found. Although you can look at your reflection as well later on. Although you can't see your face. <laughs> But what does, what does Norman Reedus have to do with this family? What does his character have to do? Is he one of their sons or something? It kind of seems unlikely. It feels like he's, you know, not really involved in this. But, you know, again, it's a teaser. Pills. Sweets, chocolate, birth control, maybe. Let me just check my dashboard here. Um, Solid Snake, 88. Thank you for the 14 months. Mightiest Owl, thank you for the 6 months. Why or way? Thank you for the two. Cheers, guys. Don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. So, yeah, you can't be killed at all during this first lap of the hallway. I think some of these pictures are supposed to be based on um, Iceland. Because we know Kojima went scouting in Iceland while he was still at Kojima Productions. And obviously Death Stranding was um, the terrain and, and the, the landscapes in Death Stranding were obviously heavily modeled on um, Icelandic um, landscapes. I think some people suggest that the tunnel over here is supposed to be that tunnel that Dead Man goes through when you meet Mads for the second time, but it's flipped upside down. Yeah, I think some people have edited this and, like, flipped it upside down and restored the color to it, but I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure how accurate that is. But yeah, it's just interesting to think about. Well, he went scouting in Iceland, which was probably for this game at the time, right? Unless you're uh, of the belief that he knew what was going to happen. He knew he was going to be leaving Konami. But I don't quite buy into that exactly. Okay, how about we move on to the second version of the hallway?
I really like the light bulb buzz hum. Yeah, this is another thing as well. We just stay on 2359 forever. We're frozen in time here. We can wait forever, but it'll never hit 12 until the very end. Reused assets, resident sleeper. Yeah, God forbid. <laughs> I hope you're not serious. LOL! Repeating the same hallway again and again. Reused assets. LOL. <laughs> I think it I think it's slightly darker this time. Not much has changed. I can't remember what all the different changes are. Like, maybe this thing is swinging a little bit more now. Who knows? The door is locked this time. But I would say that's one of the things that's kind of impressive about this, that they get a lot of mileage out of this one hallway just by changing things ever so slightly each time. And I think a lot of tension is brought out through that. Did I miss the cockroach? My voice, can you hear it? This sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever if you'll just come to me. There he is. The mating cockroaches. At least I think there's two of them and they're in... They're in the mating position. Which is kind of weird. Yeah, R3. Like, you don't really do much in this. That's I think this is the only... These are the only controls you have. You can only zoom. Walk around and zoom. Oh, and I guess you do need to press X at one point as well. Yeah, the roaches look really nice. Sound of the rain. And would you look at that? Slight sort of creaking sound. There's a weird creaking sound. I 
That sounded like it was coming from the bathroom. Jesus fucking Christ. I need to be careful as well. It's it's late. I got in shit with my neighbors for making noise. So I can't scream. I have to keep it down. Was that me? Okay, that's one of the messages that you can find, and I need to f look at my notes to get the translation for it. I think that was in Italian. Any Italians in chat? Non, no mi mossi più nella testa inerta. I think that said, I didn't move any more during the waiting. This is a hint for the final puzzle. What Kojima wanted was for people to um, cooperate online together to solve the puzzle. Um, people from, um, you know, Italians, Japanese, English, that um, everyone would come together to translate the um, messages together and figure out how to solve the puzzle. But obviously, Google Translate is a thing, so you don't really need to find an Italian person to figure out what it means. But at the same time, people still did band together to try and figure out the puzzle online, so he kind of succeeded. Um, although, someone did solve it um, by mistake as soon as it came out just because they had their mic plugged in and they were talking um, while streaming the game and they solved the puzzle by accident. But it took a long time for people to figure out what the actual solution was. And I think even now there might be some debate regarding what certain things mean or what, what it's, in, what it's uh, suggesting, what they're suggesting. I think that was the Italian one. It's impossible to do it without a mic. You have to speak to the game. But yeah, it's interesting that the whole online cooperation thing, I guess, started with this. Which is something that he's done since then. He did it with the Phantom Pain and with uh, Death Stranding as well. And he wanted to do it here. He wanted everyone to come together to solve it. People from different backgrounds. People who spoke different languages. Maybe this is the first strand type game. Hold on. I'm just scrolling up uh, the chat here just to see what I missed. Yeah, I think that was the Italian message. Lisa's still in here crying. Oh shit, did Twitch fuck up? There's another one. That was in German. And that translates to, and through the mist of fading consciousness, I believe. And I think there should be another half of that somewhere. At least I think this is how it is. Each 
language has two messages which connect together. That's the first German message and there should be another German message somewhere which connects to this one. And I think there's two for each. I might be misremembering certain things, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that was German. Natty, thank you for the 100 bits. Have I played Allison Road, the PT-inspired game? I haven't, no. I know this inspired a lot of uh, indie horror games. Yeah, I'll just say that again for anyone who missed it. I'm not sure what happened there. I think Twitch fucked up. Um, I can post it in chat as well, actually. Hold on. Actually, I, I, I'm not sure. I, no, I can't post it in chat. <laughs> but I think, I think what that message said was, and through the mist of fading consciousness, I believe in German. And we should find another piece of that later on. We should find another one in German. I think, anyway. Or maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe there's only one for each language. But I think there might be two messages for each language. And as we find all these pieces... This, photo, this photograph here uh, restores itself. That's what we're finding. We're finding the missing pieces of this photograph. And by finding them all, we can restore it. My voice, can you hear it? This sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever if you'll just come to me. Okay, let's move on to the next, the next uh, incarnation of this hallway. That hum again, love it. Love the sound. thing we can do is zoom.
man. They do such a great job with the sound in this. The way the volume gradually increases. What's around the corner? I really like this, such a classic trick. The only way to go is straight ahead. Yeah, that light doesn't come back on. That light was on initially above her head. She was standing right underneath it. Then it turns off, but when the light comes back on, it's this one. It's not this one. I don't I'm not sure if I ever really paid attention to that before. The crying was coming from the radio. I don't think so. The crying was just coming from here. From here, I think from where she was standing. It's cool how the sound changes as you move, as you get closer. You know, when you're back here, the sound is different. And then she starts, it changes slightly as you move forward. I was saying this before, but I really just like how the movement feels in this. Slight little wobble back and forth with the camera. This feels really weighty. I feel like it really adds to the anxiety that you feel. <laughs> I love this as well. This feels pretty Silent Hill as well. Obviously, the flashlight and the radio are two um, key components to Silent Hill. And just the way they introduce it here. Just how unexplainable it is. Feels, uh, feels very Silent Hill. And we're locked. So yeah, originally, 
we were going to see Lisa sitting in the bathtub here with her head chopped off. But that idea was cut. That idea was chopped. But later on, we might get... Um, an implication that that still happened, perhaps. Oh, there's something in the sink. I think the solution to this is to just wait. So here's the baby. I guess this is supposed to be Lisa's unborn child. We do see that Lisa is pregnant. And I guess that also ties in with the radio broadcast at the start, even if all the details don't really line up with that radio broadcast. Um, huge Eraserhead reference here, David Lynch's Eraserhead. The baby here um, is very similar to that baby in that film. Looks um, very similar. You know, the body kind of reminds me of the uh, man-made chickens in Eraserhead as well. I never really thought of that. The little legs and I don't know, just something about it. That's another creepy scene in that film. I think I'm forgetting the solution. I remember something about like looking back or something to do with the reflection. Maybe I've fucked it up completely. I don't think so though. Or maybe I have to look closely at the baby again. Oh, I look... Yeah, 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 yeah. I look at the door in the reflection. That's it. And now it opens. Yeah. So, yeah. This is Norman Reedus' model. We see him at the very end once we finish it. Can't see his face. Yeah, we'll be looking through this hole in the wall later on. Is his face modeled? It is, yeah.
killing took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. Don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. Retrieved the rifle and shot his wife as he was cleaning up the kitchen. You can't trust the tap water. The old son came to investigate the commotion. The father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was 204863. Seen after neighbors called 9-11, found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murder, Smith looked behind you. I said, look behind you, like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December <laughs> last year, used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears in the 204863. Child care and other social issues facing the average family. That is so unnerving. The sound of Lisa right behind you. Lisa is right behind us at all times during this uh, sequence. Just her presence while you're listening to that. <laughs> like, the, you know, that's her breathing that we've heard before. But now it's so loud. It's right beside us at all times. It almost feels like you're controlling Lisa here. That's what that's what I considered for um, for a while that maybe we were controlling Lisa, possessing our main character, because it kind of feels like that during this sequence. Oh God! Um, that's the same as the radio broadcast um, at the very beginning. But there are a few added details. Don't touch the dial now. We're just getting started. We didn't hear that before. You can't trust the tap water. That's something that's new that they added. 204863 is uh, Kojima's birthday, of course, which you also see in Peace Walker, you know, on the back of the truck. Another little hint that this is Kojima's doing. Um, some people read into it a bit more than that. I'm sure some of you have seen the Great Debates theory about this game, that it was Kojima uh, commenting on the whole Konami situation. I don't buy into it entirely, but it's, uh, it's interesting. That maybe it's more than a, a hint. God, I'm afraid she's just going to jump out at me any second now. You should be able to see Lisa's shadow here. Because she's right behind us. Notice that sound as well. Every few steps you hear that wooden clunk. You don't normally hear that. That's supposed to be like her. It sounds like a wooden leg almost. But I think it's supposed to be like her heel or something. It's very strange. Like there, that knock. Knock. You don't normally hear that. That's Lisa. see it on my screen. Can any of you see the shadow? You should be able to see the shadow here. 
Unless she's gone. She might be gone now completely. I don't hear her. She's back. <laughs> Stop turning around, dog. Why? Nothing's going to happen. Nothing happens when you turn around. Where the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. We're, we're, we're moving on to the next one, alright? How's the baby doing? Is he doing alright in there? Same one again. Right, 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 right. Don't touch that I didn't see now. this. We're just getting started. Retrieve the rifle and shot his wife. X. Gouge it out. You can't trust the tap water. Old son came to investigate the commotion. The father shot him too. His what are we gouging out? The good sense to hide in the bathroom, but the court suggests he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was 204863. Seen after neighbors called 911, found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murder, Smith looked behind you. I said, look. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears under 204863. Child care and other social issues facing the average family. So Lisa is gone. Once you gouge the eye out, she leaves. Um, I wonder if this is supposed to be another little hint towards MGS, maybe. Big Boss, the missing right eye. You know, missing eyes being a, a common thing in Kojima's games. It's what this made me think of anyway. Or central character of this little story has a missing right eye. Um, the husband's name is Jack as well, I think. That's the name we're, that's the name we have to speak into the microphone at the very end. Anyway, is Jack. So I think that might be the husband's name. Jesus fucking Christ. What the? Was that a, was that a hand? Did I imagine that? 
I don't remember seeing that before. It looked like a couple of fingers just came out and then retreated. Did I imagine that? I think I might have imagined that. That would have been a really good scare if that was actually in the game. But I think I imagined that. <laughs> Looked like just a couple of little fingers came out and then went back. I don't think... I don't think it's in the game. Because I don't think I've seen that before. And I'm pretty sure I've seen everything in this. <laughs> Did someone else see it? It was just a shadow. I don't remember where these other uh, picture pieces are. I did, in fact, imagine it. I thought so. I know there's one up in, like, the corner of the ceiling here. Oh, yeah, of course. This is fucking typical Kojima. There's one hidden in the fucking pause menu. If you pause the game and zoom in, You get another piece. Poi il. Hold on, which one is that? That's the second half of the Italian message, which says, Then his finger slipped on my hand. So the complete Italian message is I didn't move any more during the waiting. Then his finger slipped on my hand. Not moving during the waiting is a is a hint for the final puzzle when we just have to stop where we're where we don't move at all. Then his finger slipped on my hand. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean exactly. Those sounds, they get me every time. Those, those, uh, steps for some reason. Oh, hey. Forgot about this. Handprints. Very Death Stranding, obviously. Interesting as well, in that, uh, trailer they made for the game. There is that giant hand that chases you down the hallway. You know, the trailer that has Chico's head 
as a bowling ball or you, you see a bowling ball roll across the floor and then it turns into Chico's head and then like a load of maggots start um, piling out of the head, pouring out of the head. So I think certain ideas might have been repurposed for Death Stranding. Is that a spider? Forgive me, Lisa. There's a monster inside of me. Again, another suggestion that the father is possessed by something. Whether it's supposed to be literal or metaphorical. Here goes the baby again. the sound coming from <laughs> and now her voice is so close like you would think that's her you know you hear that same wooden footstep sound but she's just standing right there she's not moving and it sounds so close and now her voice is right beside you I don't think it was supposed to be coming through the radio. I don't think those sounds ever come through the radio. It's just in the environment. But I could be wrong. Still 2359. It's not going anywhere. This is new. I can hear them 
calling me. Calling to me. I can hear them calling to me from... Nothing. Blood Sense with the 45. Thank you. I must be forgetting something about this. I think we have to go through to the hallway. To the next hallway. Interesting, I forgot about that. So that message appears before the solution appears. <laughs> That's so sick. Do you hear the voice underneath? The regular voice there? The normal voice said he hung himself with a garden hose, and then the really muffled voice said he hung himself with an umbilical cord. The umbilical cord of his dead wife, maybe? S2 vibes. So what's inside? A baby? How the light looks. So good. Those sounds really remind me of Silent Hill. Like industrial clanking. I forgot there were actually sounds like that in this. Where is the red light coming from? It doesn't really look like a red light.
<laughs> Those are some very distressed cries. Those are not happy cries at all. Oh man, the way it gets long around there. Kojima makes a horror game. Can anyone remember where the other pieces are? I'm forgetting. I'm drawing a blank here. I might have to look it up. I can hear them calling to me from hell. We take the letters that were here. I actually didn't mean to do that. I guess if you keep going back and forth, it takes the letters, even when you don't look at them. But hello was written here. And as you go back and forth, the letters um, get taken from here. And they get brought over to here. Apart from... The O, of course. Okay.
Love it. I love how the music sounds kind of calming. There's a there's a contradiction which works really well there. This demonic sound, this demonic voice, but the mu the music is kind of soothing, which just makes the whole thing feel very unnerving, uncanny. So that's in Swedish. Yeah. Let me read out the translation. Close your eyes. Let your ears listen to the radio. Do you hear my voice? Do you hear your own soul's scream? Let us choose. My voice that tells the future or your tortured mind. Well, what do you choose? You can choose. Your life, your future. Wise as you are, you might already have discovered it. Yes, the radio drama from 75 years ago was true. They are here on our earth, and they monitor and see all. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust the police. They are already controlled by them. That's the way it has been for 75 years now. Only our best will prevail. You have a right, a right to become one of us. So welcome to our world. Very soon, the gates to a new dimension will open. 204863. 204863. So, the radio drama is the uh, War of the Worlds radio drama that they're referencing, which Kojima has obviously referenced in the past in, uh, in MGS3, and I think maybe in one of the other games as well. Some people theorize that it's another message from Kojima, meta-commentary about the situation at Konami and what's going to happen with him. Very soon, the gates to a new dimension will open. That's another part of the Great Debates theory that it's uh, Kojima hinting at his departure. And that, that at the end, it's signed by him. 204863, again, being a reference to Kojima's birthday. But, again, it could just be another hint that, that, it's, um, that he's working on the project. Again, I'm not really sure where I stand when it comes to a lot of that. You know, Kojima does put a lot of autobiographical stuff into his games. Um, hidden themes and uh, things like that. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this was commenting on the situation in some way. But I'm not sure. Later on, we'll hear the baby say something like, you got fired, so you drowned yourself in booze. Uh, 
I think there's another piece of the puzzle in here. Ah, there it is. Fuck. Did anyone catch that? What language was that? Is the shattered picture frame different now? Yeah, all the pieces reassemble here. As we find the pieces, the photograph reassembles. Which is, again, another picture of Lisa. Most likely, anyway. That was in Italian. Okay, so we did find the other Italian one, didn't we? So let me just check my notes here. No way. I guess the... Okay, whichever one we found before wasn't in Italian. The very first one. Because the Italian... There are two Italian messages. The first one says, I didn't move anymore during the waiting. The second one says, then his finger slipped on my hand. And I think we got... Both of those already. Or I thought we got one of those already. Or I thought we got both of them. And now we're Sonic. And all the photographs have turned into eyeballs. Baby is gone. Great sounds. Whoa, that's a long hallway. A lot of people get stuck here. What you need to do here is stop and pay attention to the environment, which can feel at odds with what the game is doing here, forcing you to move extremely quickly like this. But what we have to do is, we'll notice something around here. Whoa. picture that was once on the wall is now on the ground and we have a hole in the wall so I think this picture was covering up this hole let's take a look Now, I'm talking to all the fine 
Fine, outstanding folks got their welfare cut, got their jobs pulled out from under us. Yeah, you know what to do. Now's the time to do it. No turning back now. I love how it's the same voice. The same newscaster. Is it is it him? Is he the guy who's possessing people, getting them to kill their families? And yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier with the the head chopping. Maybe we were supposed to see Lisa in the bathtub after that. You got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? Exactly ten months back. <laughs> I really love this as well. I, th that's the same voices again, I think. Same uh, newscaster. Now he's speaking through the baby. Now we're back to normal speed. Oh, I, I really love this. This feels very classic Silent Hill as well. And we're back to normal. Kind of. <laughs> you know, like when you finish Midwitch Elementary and you're at the very end after, after the boss fight and after all that chaos, the school returns to normal again. This kind of gives me that feeling. You know, after running in double speed and seeing the baby talk and for a second here, we're, we're back to normal again with the original light and everything. Because we had the red lights for like the last three or four loops. Yeah, pills and stuff here. Maybe birth control. Let me just check here as well. Shadow Cloud, thank you for gifting a, a, a sub to Z29 and to HMNO. Uh, Box Ghost, thank you for the 18. Twisted Queen, thank you so much for the year. Uh, anyone else here? Blood Sense with the 45. Payacon, Ban with the 14. Mr. Kane, Pupshaw, thank you everyone. Too big for birth control, yeah. Back to normal. Oh. It's changed.
Fix this damn bug. Cause equals question mark. Before release. And now the game has reloaded. So obviously that was intentional. The game breaking down. Some kind of bug occurring. Again, very typical uh, of Kojima. This sort of stuff might be reminiscent of some of the shit you see at the end of MGS2. Where the, where the game folds in on itself. Um, all the other things that were written there, I think it just said the same thing in a load of other languages. Um, there are quite a few different screens you can get during this sequence as well. And I think it's randomized. You won't always get that. And let me just see if I have some of the other notes here as well. Yeah, there are a few different crash screens. Um, sometimes you'll get one where it will say this game is purely fictitious. It cannot harm you in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> um, that also might remind you of previous Kojima games in a way. Um, fix this damn bug, which is the one we got before release. Uh, another one says development halted due to inexplicable bug. Um, another one, I'm heading there now. Another one that says, I'll call later. And another one, this is probably the most interesting one. It says, knowing you, I was sure you'd notice this game and play it. I will never, can never, forget that day 20 years ago. I have something to tell you. Contact me. Jay. This one is interesting, and I can see why people would read into this specifically with regards to Kojima having some kind of meta-commentary in it, because it sounds kind of personal. I was, you know, I, I was sure you'd notice this game and play it. I will never, can never, forget that day 20 years ago. I have something to tell you. Contact me, Jay. Again, this is another thing. This is another hint regarding the final puzzle that we have to solve, which... Um, where we have to answer a phone call. It's signed by Jay as well, it looks like. Um, and we have to speak into the microphone to solve it and say the name Jack. And I'm, the weird thing is, I'm not sure if anything suggests that Jack is the name. If any um, hint like mentions the name Jack specifically. I think people might have just found out that it was Jack by looking into the files. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter because you don't actually have to say Jack to solve it. You can say other names that begin with J and it'll pick it up. So maybe Kojima knew that and he just put J in there because it would be enough to solve the puzzle. It's still obviously very obtuse. <laughs> and you might have to play through this God knows how many times to get that particular crash screen. Because all of the other ones don't give you a hint. I don't think, anyway. I'll call later, I guess, does. Because it's related to a phone call, the solution, or the puzzle. I'm heading there now. I'll call later, knowing you. I was sure you'd notice this game and play it. I will never, can never, forget that day 20 years ago.
And here's a brown paper bag with something nasty inside, it looks like. We'll get more from that later. Lisa's head in the bag, possibly. Now it's pitch black. And this is where we have to solve the puzzle. But we still have two more, two at least. We might have three more pieces to find. Hello? down neighbors There's Lisa. We finally got our jump scare. So that could have happened way earlier than that. It's not possible to get it in every single loop. But... Yeah, we could have we could have got it earlier. I was actually trying to get it earlier. But I think what happened I think it can only happen when she possesses you. Like when I saw her in the hallway, when she ran up to me, I think she ran 
inside me. I might, might be mistaken there. And then from that point on, it was only a matter of time. I think. She can get me again, yeah. I walked. I could do nothing but walk. And then, I saw me walking in front of myself. But, it wasn't really me. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Man. I love it. So good. Okay. We're pretty close to the end now. I just need to find these last two pieces. There's one. Inerta. That's, that's the one I thought I got earlier. I think. Unless I'm getting this same Italian message again and again. Hold on. What the hell? That's, yeah, that's the Italian message. I didn't move anymore during the waiting. Weird. You can get a Japanese message that says it was a cold hand. Body was trembling. Maybe you do need to play it multiple times to get all the messages in all the different languages. There's a, there's, there are two you can get in English as well. Never moving a step. His hand in mine. I waited for it to pass. The German one, and through the mist of fading consciousness, I believed I heard a phone. All of these are hints about how to solve this puzzle right here. Portuguese, I whispered your name, but the wind of the night took your voice away. That's a hint that we have to speak to the game. Talk into the microphone, say Jack into the microphone. Italian, I didn't move anymore during the waiting. Then his finger slipped on my back. That's when we have to stop moving after we take 10 steps. Japanese, it was a cold hand. Body was trembling. And I think that's supposed to be a reference to the controller vibrating while you're waiting. Because the controller vibrates before you solve the puzzle. If you're doing it correctly, the, the controller will vibrate. Once when you stop moving, eventually the controller will vibrate and then you'll hear a baby laugh or a baby cry. It's been a long time since I've done this, so we'll, I'll have to kind of re refresh it. Um, then in English, never moving a step, his hand in mine, I waited for it to pass. That kind of feels similar to the Italian message about not moving, waiting for something to pass. And then in German, and through the mist of fading consciousness, I believed I heard a phone, and then you hear the phone ring. Yeah. I don't think anything gives you a hint about the 10 steps that you have to take. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to solve that. Because I think you do need to stop after moving 10 paces. Maybe I'll experiment with it. Okay, so there's one more to find. And I think it's supposed to be in the ceiling beam. Somewhere.
I took 10 steps and stopped. Hold on one sec, guys. I need to grab this microphone. All this talk about the microphone, I didn't have it plugged in. Microphone switch to headset. Hold on. Now I'm not hearing anything on my end. Uh, adjust microphone level. Hello. Hello. Hold on, chat, can you hear the game? You lost sound as well. You guys can hear the game. Can you hear the game? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Output to chat. Now we have it. Now we can all hear the game again. Okay, we can all hear the game. Right, now we have to talk to the game. But I want to find the final uh, piece of the puzzle first before we do this. It's supposed to be... Somewhere up here. There it is. That's another German one, I think. She's going to kill me now. I don't think there's any way I can avoid it. Yeah. Now the footstep sounds have changed again. Remember like before? That clunk. Now she's right behind me at all times. What if I look down and turn around? Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any way of avoiding it now. Maybe if we wait for the static to go crazy again, we'll get another chance.
just fucking kill me. Okay, I can I can avoid it. I can I can just go through and loop again and then I think we'll be okay. Yeah, and now the whole thing will restart. I don't know what was going on there. I think she she was going to kill me there, but I guess it's still pretty random. She might take her time. Or maybe I'm um maybe I was mistaken. What? I don't remember that. What the fuck was that? Sometimes she possesses you, but yeah, but I thought when she possesses you like that, you're pretty much on borrowed time. Like you have uh you have uh a short amount of time before she'll just kill you. Yeah, I don't remember hearing that before. I guess that's pretty, uh, random. Yeah, that was something, um, that was backwards. Let me see if I have it here in my notes. we have to find out where the static is coming from and then speak to the game and say Jack. I think. And then we need to shut up. Now we just wait. The controller is vibrating. That's it. That's how you get the phone to ring. I didn't actually really explain the, the puzzle there in its entirety. I just got so lost in my own thoughts, wondering about the notes and all that stuff. But you wait for the clock to hit 12. It starts at 2359 when you enter the hallway. When it hits 12... Things start to go crazy. Noises start being made. And then you have to move 10 steps. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And stop. And when you stop, you'll hear a baby cry. The goal of, this, of the puzzle is to get three baby cries. So we get our first baby cry. Then a haunting starts to take place where, um, you know, you hear, you start hearing Lisa, you start hearing radio static. And she can spawn in one of three places, or rather the static can, the haunting can appear in one of three places. I think it, it will either uh, take place around here, around the phone, inside the bathroom, or beside the radio. And you can tell by how loud it is in this area. If the haunting is happening here, Lisa will be really fucking loud over here. If it's 
um, in the bathroom, obviously you'll see her in the reflection and the noise will really be loud here. So after you get the first baby cry, you have to find out where the haunting is taking place. You go to that area and then you speak um, into the microphone, Jack, Jack, Jack. And then um, hopefully you'll hear another baby cry. And then you wait. Once the game recognizes that you've said Jack, you just chill. And then your controller will start to vibrate and then eventually you'll hear the third baby cry. And then after the third baby cry, the phone will ring and that's it. You've finished it. So it's pretty wild. Um, someone solved it um, by mistake. It was solved pretty quickly after the after this release for the first time. I, I think it happened on Twitch as well. It was a girl playing on Twitch and um, she had a microphone plugged into her controller, I think without even realizing it. And she didn't know you had to speak into the game. She didn't know you had to speak to the game. It just the, the puzzle just kind of solved itself by mistake. And that's how it was solved for the very first time. And then people had to figure out how the fuck she solved it. <laughs> and someone said there that I think one of the notes says Jack. No, one of the notes says J. I don't think any of the notes say anything about Jack. I think all it does is... is uh, <laughs> I think all it does is have a, um, a reference to a certain J. Knowing you, I was sure you'd notice this game and play it. I will never, can never forget that day 20 years ago. I have something to tell you. Contact me, J. Oh, hold up. The back, these backwards messages we're hearing. Um, one of them says, we share an instant of private darkness. Another one says, the moment our hands overlap. Another one says, I walked till I stood one pace before Jack. You're right, whoever said that in chat. I walked till I stood one pace before Jack. Oh, oh, this is this. This is how you figure out that it's 10 steps. I think. Here's Jack. Let's count the paces from the very beginning. This is that's more than 10 steps, surely. Two. That's 10. Yeah, that's that's not right. I walked till I stood one pace before Jack. Another one says heart pounding. Um, another one is in Spanish, played backwards, which says his or her touch, cold like marble. Another one in Spanish says so much that he was trembling. One in French says I whispered his name. So here we have uh, a hint that we're supposed to whisper someone's name. Another one in French and the right took the sound of his and the night took the sound of his voice away. So those are all the backwards messages, which again contain more hints. I don't know how you're supposed to figure out the 10 paces. That was something that people figured out fairly quickly anyway. The 10 paces thing.
That really felt like that was what it was hinting towards. I walked till I stood one pace before Jack. You know, because if this is Jack here... Ten paces from the... From the start of the area. Felt like that could have been a hint, but that doesn't line up properly. And all the crash screens... Again, the crash screen gives a hint about Jack. Contact me, Jay. The notes that you find. More hints about the phone, about needing to wait. All this reference to trembling, body trembling, is probably waiting for the, con for the controller to vibrate. Um, yeah, I didn't move anymore during the waiting. When you have to stop. But yeah, I don't know how you're... Uh, was at the moment. Needing to find... Um, needing to find where the haunting is taking place and then speaking into the mic there where the haunting is happening. I don't know, I'm not seeing what's hinting towards that here <laughs> but maybe i'm missing something but anyway that's how you solve it that's how you solve it that's another one of the voices playing backwards that's another one of the hints jack is the 11th card so 10 is before jack oh No way, that's it. That's wild. Wait, and J is the tenth letter in the alphabet as well. That's crazy. So is there anything to suggest that you're supposed to speak where the haunting is happening. I'm not seeing where that's hinted. But it probably is somewhere. Even if it is really obtuse. I read out all of the notes. And all the backwards messages. I walked till I, st till I stood one pace before Jack. Heart pounding. I whispered his name, and the night took the sound of his voice away. We share an instant of private darkness, the moment our hands overlap. <laughs> what a cool fucking creation this is, man. One of the best things Kojima has done, I think, even though it's just a teaser. So cool.
dress the same, sit in front of the same kind of games. Yeah, he was just that kind of guy. But then one day he goes and kills us all. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. I'm not complaining. I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. pain a ghost from the past this game cursed game there it is 77 ADS Ever see the boundary break video for PT? I think I might have. I've seen a lot of those Lance McDonald posts, videos, where he did a lot of data mining. Hey, cheers, Deja Blue. Yeah, it was fun refreshing certain things as well, because um, I'd forgotten a lot of it. There, there are other things that you can see as well, like Lisa outside behind one of the windows. Um, other little hauntings that I think we could have seen as well. You know, there are a lot of random things. I really enjoy Death Stranding uh, Vorn Doom. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get to see a fully-fledged horror game from Kojima sometime. Alright. Guys. It was only going to be a short stream today, unfortunately. So, uh, that's why I streamed PT, because I didn't really have time to do, uh anything uh, long, with no time for a long session, so I thought this was perfect for a short stream. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. We don't go through PT very often. And, um, yeah, I learned some stuff. The whole thing about J being the 10th letter in the alphabet or, t or representing 10 in a game of cards. Maybe I read that before, but I definitely forgot about it if I did. So I'll have to remember that for next time. But, um, yeah, what a cool little experience PT is. Even though it's a teaser, you know, you, there's still quite a bit to talk about.
and it takes time to go through it, especially if you want to talk about all the little details and you want to talk about the puzzle and how you figure it out. And, you know, there are lots of little touches to see and details to take notice of. But yeah, maybe I'll have to return to Silent Hill one of these days as well, the main, the, the classic series. I think I might do a few in-depth Silent Hill runs sometime soon. Let me just check my dashboard one more time. I think I'm up to date. Cal is the last name I see here. Seven months, Shadow Cloud before him. Yeah, guys, I think we'll wrap it up there for now. Till next time, have a good one, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Till next time, peace.